Hey everyone, it's Aquila, and we're doing another video about the Earlbacker Gearheart Speedster. This video is going to be specific to the Earlbacker only because I'm going to show you how to change your cylinder. I know it might seem a little weird, or really, you're going to show us a video on how to do that, but some people might not know. Some people might take visual directions, video direction better than the manual. So I'm just going to show you. It will take not very long and I feel like it could be helpful. So here we go. First, you need to take all your needles out. Some people leave their needles in. I do not do that. Um, so I'm going to take all my needles out. I have a little container I got from the dollar store that keeps all my cylinder needles and I have a different one for my river needles. So yeah, to take your cylinder needles out, you just pretty much lift them up, bend them forward, and they pop out from this spring. I showed you guys a little bit on another video. There is a spring right here. So, see this? Boop, 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 spring. All right, so I'm going to take all the needles out, and then we'll get to the next part. This is, uh, you have to just rotate your machine, or not rotate your machine. You can't take these needles out. See this? It's your V-cam. They won't come out. The, butt, the needle butts are down underneath, so you have to move your cylinder around. So I'll just come over to this side. All right, now that we've done that, you might get a little oily and greasy from your machine. I keep a rag on hand that I use to just, it's an old t-shirt, wipe my hands. All right, so underneath of your machine, there's two screws. It comes with a tool. It's a four-in-one tool. You can change out to have Phillips or flat. For this, you will need your Phillips head screwdriver to take those out. Some people have replaced these bolts. I haven't. So, uh, yeah. So just underneath your machine, there's two. One. And you use the same for each cylinder. All right, and it's easy enough. You just take out your cylinder, and there's where the screws went. So I'm gonna show you guys both my cylinders so you can tell. Well, I'm not sure where to show you. <laughs> They're the same. They're the same exact size. All right, this one needs a good cleaning. I'm gonna put my 64 in. I'll give that a cleaning afterwards. But I don't want to put it on my carpet, so it's going to go on the rag. All right. Now, sometimes you might want to do a clean inside your cylinder, too. I didn't bring paper towels down, so I'm just going to use a napkin real quick to just give it a little wipe. Now, if you move this around, it's okay. This whole thing comes off. That is a whole other video, and I'm not doing that today. So when you do put your cylinder in, you have to be mindful. This is your ribber stop. This is what stops the fin on your ribber. So depending on if you want your ribber to stop on the back side or the front side, you would put it this way for the front, or you can do it that way for the back. Preference, it's just your preference. You drop your cylinder down in the machine, and then you kind of fish for the hole. I could have dropped it down better. I didn't, but I got it. And then you just tighten up 
I just do hand tighten it until I need to do the last bit of turns. Oh, turning the wrong way because I'm not paying attention. Okay, and just a little tighten. You don't have to like, you don't want to tighten it down so you can't unscrew it. So, you don't want to use a drill. You definitely want to use your screwdriver. There you go. Now you have a new cylinder in. You should oil it. And to put in your needles, it's as simple as... I always use the pick tool for the first one. Pulling it out. Putting the needle butt in. Flipping it up. And from here, now, you can just pull it out. The one next to it, adjacent to it, its neighbor, it pulls the spring out far enough. And there you go. It's as simple as that to change your cylinder. So I hope this was helpful. I know it's kind of a simple video. Um, it's pretty clear instructions on how to do this, but I feel like sometimes, like I said in the beginning, a good visual is helpful. So I'm going to finish putting the rest of these needles in and let's see what I cast on today. Thanks for watching. Bye.